Hey, people! I'm Kip Everstein, and welcome to Sally Face. Uh, backstory is in order for this one, so if you wanna, if you wanna skip that, this is time right here. This should be when I edit. Go to that. All right. So a while ago, I played on a really junky like laptop. Then run through the door. Yeah, that one. Um, and I was planning on building the PC that I play on now. And I was raising money for it by doing jobs and whatnot. Um, but around towards the end, when I was getting close to being able to uh, build this PC, I asked a couple friends what they wanted to see me play. And only really one of them gave me a definite answer. And she said she wanted to see this game. I bumped my mic, I'm sorry. This game. Uh, this game is called Sally Face. She said, I want to see Sally Face. And I said, what the world is Sally Face? So I looked it up. And it's another one of those kind of two-dimensional point-and-click uh, adventure games. Uh, sorry, mystery games. And I absolutely love these games. Um, I used to play them on my Kindle Fire, like back when I didn't even have a laptop. Like um, it, these, these are just kind of like my thing. So we're gonna do another one of these. It's kind of like Cube Escape, only uh, this one's more. It has a bigger story. It's longer. Um, so let's do it. I don't think I even need my, my mouse for this. It was just like last time. Only this time, it started in a hospital. Oh gosh. Shaking. <sighs> okay, it's really dim. Light switch. Yeah, I don't need to use my mouse for anything on this. Like, it's locked. Right. Fine, I get it. Hello? It's okay, Sal. Everything's gonna be okay now. Come and see. Who is this? What are you talking about? Where am I? Uh, who is this? Sal, come and find me. Weird. Sounded like my dad. Alright. I love the music already. Ooh, a key. Hey, hey. I'm so good at this. It says Q. <laughs> Stuff. <laughs> I like the dog. The dog picture. That's my favorite part. <coughs> this is already creepy. What? 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 Alright, I'm gonna get lost so fast. Do I just need to choose like the right? Oh, so I gotta choose the right. D O. Dog, like like the picture. Hey. hey. All right. There's a dog. Who's a good dog? Who's a good boy? Buried your alive, kid. You tell me. Huh? Go see for yourself. Oh. Wow. Beloved mother. I didn't I didn't read it all. I meant to. There's a four there. That may be helpful later. Battery is not included. It's locked. Of course it is. Wait, there's a four over here. Do I need to find a bunch of numbers? Like, on this wall? Like, there's a four. And I can't go anywhere else. Unless I can go farther. No? Four. Wait. That was easy. There's a lamp. Can I- I can't do anything with that. Dad? You're not my son. My son is not a murderer. Oh. So did the son... This is your fault. Did this... Did this boy... Kill the mother? Mom? And from the looks of it, he doesn't even remember he did it. Are you... Dot dot dot. And 
that's when I woke up. Psychiatrist's office. Hmm, yes. An interesting dream. I think we shall come back to that dream later. But for now, can you tell me more about the body? Which one? The second one. The one from the apartment. The apartment. Dad and I had just moved in. I had a weird feeling that the place about the place right away. Episode 1. Strange Neighbors. Yeah, I only bought episode 1. This will be our new beginning. We can finally leave what happened in New Jersey behind us now. Why don't you go and explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking? I keep hitting my space bar like really hard. You may hear that. <coughs> Bathroom. Kitchen. Oh, packs. Packs. Just some stuff Dad and I got from the store. Nothing important. I'm gonna try to like do some voices or whatnot for this game, if you haven't noticed that already. I'm gonna forget what voices I'm using for which characters though, that's, that's the problem. Leave, Sal's room. So the, the character I'm assuming is Sally, or Sal, for short. Hey kiddo, I've decided to take a break from unpacking. That's not a bad idea. We've been at it for a while now. I've literally done nothing. Maybe I'll take a break myself. What do you think about this place? It may not be as nice as our house, but we'll make the best of things. As long as we have each other, I think we can make a real home here. I miss, I miss Jersey, I miss Mom or Sia. I'm gonna go with Miss Jersey. I know you do, bud, but please try to give it a chance. School will start up in a couple weeks, and then you'll be able to make all new friends. Yeah, I guess so. I know so. Anybody one would be lucky to have you as a friend, Sal. Thanks, Dad. Mm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the, the, the boy is called Sally for some reason. Yeah. Me too, buddy. Me too. See ya. Try not to get into too much trouble. So did the did the boy... I don't think he actually killed his mother. I think it was just a dream, and he felt like it, it was it was his fault that his mother died. But it, it started off by making you think he did. I see you. I see you've made yourself at home already, Gizmo. Must be nice. That is a huge cat. I'm just gonna throw that one out there. Is there anything in the bathroom I need? Like, can I take something with me for later? Sleep aid. Dad has trouble sleeping at night. After. Yeah. Alright. Unless the orange jacket... Oh. Yeah, the psychiatrist... In the psychiatrist, the, the Sally had a... Had a, one of those orange coats on. Like she... He... Sorry. Was in jail. So it may have been like a jail psychiatrist. Oh, I haven't been in... Yeah, I have. What am I talking about? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Sal's place. Wait, then what was this door? Elevator. Oh, hello. Hello. Why are you standing here? I'm protecting nosy freaks from, like you from seeing what they ought not to see. Now scram. I don't get paid to babysit. Who are you? I'm your fairy stinking godmother. What does it look like? I'm an officer of the law, so you better show me some respect. What happened in that room? Police business, kid. Why don't you run along to your parents? I wish I could. What was that? Nothing. That's what I thought. Stupid weirdo kid. Grumble, grumble. Walk away. Alright, yeah, I don't like him. <laughs> I'm gonna knock. No one's home. Alright, that was quick. You just, like, knock and instantly figure out no one's here. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this game already. So wait, I'm on four. I'm gonna go up first, because there's only one floor, but oh gosh. This floor is currently being renovated for your safety. Please make your way to the nearest exit. Heh <laughs> no way. <laughs> locked. If all the doors are locked, 
unlocked. There's gonna be something up there, up here. Hey, hello. Sorry, I, I didn't think anyone lived up here. Hello, sir, are you okay? You shouldn't have come here. I'm sorry, I was just trying to get to know my new neighbors and... A dark place. This building. Horrible things happen. Are you sure you're okay? Oh shoot. Oh gosh. What the? <coughs> That's weird. The bathroom door is locked. The music here is like creepy. Really stinking creepy. Alright, music's better here. Alright, I'm gonna go down this floor three. And then two, one. Basement, I need a key card. Caution wet floor, I can't go over there. Dog, no one's home. Hello. Hey. Oh my. Sorry, you just startled me a little. You must be one of the new guys from 402, yeah? With all the excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to stop in and say hi. Yeah, it's just me and my dad. My name is Sal. Pleasure to meet you, Sal. I'm Lisa. I take care of this place. Keep things up and running. So if you ever need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Sure, thanks. You're quite welcome. First non-terrifying character we've met. Uh, two. No one's home. It's, no one's here. Is it work work time? Yeah? Yeah? Who's there? Hello. I'm new in the building. Just wanted to introduce myself to the neighbors. Okay. Come in. I may change his voice. Oh gosh, no. I'm not changing his voice. Hi. My name is Sal. I just moved in today with my dad. What the world is wrong with your face, kid? Oh. Oh, I know. Young teens. A new generation of self-expression. I was young once myself. I get it. Just so long as you're not in, in a gang or anything. You're not in a gang, are you? No, no, it's nothing like that. Wonderful. Well, I'm Charlie. Don't mess with my stuff, and we'll be okay. I'm a collector, you see. I collect many things. These things are like my family, so if you mess with my collections, you're messing with my family. Got it? Yes, sir. Not a problem. I won't be giving you any troubles. Good to hear. I can look. Bask in the glory of my complete set of glitter ponies. A great accomplishment it is to have to full, have this full set. Sorry. You can look all you want, but don't even think about touching them. What's a glitter pony? Oh gosh. <laughs> <coughs> my goodness, child. Have you never seen my glitter ponies, Rainbow Spectacular? It's only the greatest television show ever produced. <laughs> it's got drama, action, romance, comedy, everything you could want. And the ponies, oh the ponies, don't get me started. Mm, yeah. Um, I guess I missed that one. I'll have to look for it on TV. Yes you will. Trust me, you won't regret it. Alright, can I look look at this? Yeah. Nope. There's just that one collection. Yeah, I... I, I he's weird. Charlie's place. So we know where Charlie lives. 204. And the nice ladies on number three. No one's home. And then number five is the creepy room. I guess no one's home. See, that one's different because everyone else, everywhere else, she said, like, that he... I'm sorry. I'm so weirded out by the boy's name being Sally. Gosh. Oh dear. What a frightful. Uh, pardon me. Uh, let's start over. Hello, young sir. New resident of Addison Apartments from 402. How may I be of his service? How do you know who I am? I know all that takes place within these walls, sir. You'll do good to remember that. Can I come in? Heavens, no. I'm afraid that I'm quite particular about my privacy. I'm sure you understand. Sure. 
Yeah, I'm leaving. He's creepy. Farewell, friend. No one's home. Who? What's going on? Hello, young man. You just moved in today, correct? Yes, sir. I already spoke with your father. Seems you two were out of state when everything happened last night. Story checks out. Good. That's good. Try not to get in our way for, for now, okay? We're investigating a serious crime. Was it murder? I can't talk about that. It was totally a murder. I should have thrown that one out there. So long. So long. I did his voice wrong right at the end. I knocked on that one. <coughs> no one's home. Oh gosh. Yeah, what do you want? A little early for trick or treating, isn't it? Hey. Stupid good for nothing kids. Grumble, grumble. Alright, don't like her. <laughs> so, wait, is this the base floor? If it is, should I be able to, like, get out of the room? Or get out of the building? No, because he's in the way. So, I need a key card for the basement. Insert key card. I don't have a key card. So, I need to find a key card. Uh, I didn't mean to go to five. I'm just gonna check all these again. But I feel like that was it. Huh, there's a small hole. <gasps> you can do things! I can't really see what's on the other side. Oh. Nope. I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. I... I'm with you, kid. I'm with you. Right then. Alright, so I can, I can do things even when it doesn't give me a prompt. So I didn't know that. I'm gonna go back... Maybe to four. I'm gonna go back through the, the, the things. See if there's like a boarded up section that I can, can click on. Like maybe move the uh, the wet floor sign or whatever on the third floor. So I'm gonna go to three. Can I? No. There's someone on the other side of that though. So there's gotta be some way I can get around. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Sal. What's up? I forgot what voice. How long have you been working? Ooh, 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 ooh. How long have you been working here? Actually, I don't just work here. I live here, too. I'm on call 24-7 for any urgent maintenance needs. Despite what you may hear from others, this is a lovely building. I'm happy to call it home. Going on 10 years now. Seems like a nice place. You betcha. She doesn't know... Or she's like too friendly. There's some, yeah, there's something wrong here. What do others say about the building? Oh, all kinds of stuff, I'm sure. This building is well over 100 years old, you know. People are always complaining about one thing or another. But you'll hear no complaints from me. I'm a woman of action. If I see a problem, I fix it. Yeah, most people do seem to complain a lot about the small things. You can't sweat the small stuff, Sal. It's just no way to live, you know? You're right. Take it from me. You focus on the good stuff. Focus on what makes you happy in this life. Put your energy into that. Change subject. Alright, um, so do you know anything about what happened in 403? Is there anything to do for fun around here, or is the building haunted? I don't really want to do that one, because I feel like that has no importance. So I'm going to do that one last. So what happened in 403? It's a shame you and your dad had this crummy first impression. I promise things aren't typically so gruesome around here. Poor Miss Sanderson. Who's Miss Sanderson? Oh, never mind that. Best not to set your mind on such dreadful things. Alright, she's not gonna talk. Is the building haunted? Sal, sweetie, I've been talking about the uh, care of the Addison Apartments for a long time, and I've never seen any ghosts or goblins. That's just people's overactive in in imaginations. Too much sweets and scary movies, if you ask me. She's southern now. I'm changing her voice. <laughs> Is there anything to do here for fun? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along great. Oh, sweet. He's downstairs in our apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Sure. I'll go say hi. Great. His name is Larry. He'll be in the basement. Tell him I sent you. I sent you down. Be in the basement. You'll need a key card to access it from the elevator, though. Here, take this one. I've got a few extras. Cool. Thanks. All right, sweet. I'm gonna leave now. See you around. 
so now I can go to the basement. I love this game <laughs> already. Washing machine, laundry. Gee, I'm sure looking forward to using this. <laughs> Not. Oh, I went in there. <laughs> Biohazard. All right, so there's a lot of stuff around here. Just like, see if there's anything I can grab. Lots of tasty junk food. Not really hungry though. Vending machine. All right, open one B. This is the only room I can go in. Oh my gosh! What the world was that? Yeah, my my thoughts exactly. It's creepy. You go into someone else's house and instantly you to go to the restroom. <laughs> Leave, keep out. I'm assuming that's Larry's room. I don't want to go into Lisa's room. Yeah. Hey, uh, Larry? Your mom said I should come say hi. I just moved in 402. Oh, hey. Come on in. Door's open. I don't know what to do for his voice. I'm sorry. Whoa, nice mask. I should do like a 70s hippie voice. It's a prosthetic. Oh, shoot. Sorry, man. It's cool. I'm used to it, and to much worse by now. So I'm glad you like it. So, do you, like, have no face under there? What happened? I'd rather not talk about it. Okay, change the subject. I'm Larry. I live down here with my mom. I'm Sal. My friends call me Sally Face. I just moved here with my dad from New Jersey. Sally Face? I guess I don't didn't really have any decent friends, to be honest. So once they started calling me that, I figured if I owned the name, then the imbeciles couldn't use it against me. You're a complicated dude, aren't you, Sal? Pretty sure, pretty strange. I like you. We're gonna get along great. Huh, <laughs> thanks. That's what your mom said. Mother knows best. Why do you live in the basement? My mom always says it's because we gotta guard the place from rats. But I'm pretty sure she gets this roof rent free with the maintenance gig. It's cool though, I don't mind. I get to listen to music as loud as I want to when she's not around. Nice. Yeah, it's like my own little bat cave. I like your shirt. I don't know what that shirt is. Thanks, it stands for Sally Face. <laughs> I do have my own clothing line, so. <laughs> That's, it's actually for this metal band called Sanity's Fall. Do you like metal? I don't know. Oh, that's gotta change. Check out this song. Oh gosh, I hate metal. It's their first single. The first full album comes out in a few months. At least it's not like blowing your ears off. Oh my gosh. Apparently Sal likes mad metal. Zombie everything all the time. What happened to 403? Shh, not so loud, man. What? What is it? The killer is still in the building. How do you know that? I saw it happen. Are you high right now? I wish I was, man. That was some scary stuff. What happened? Okay, so I was helping Mrs. Sanderson with a clog toy. I was just finishing up when I heard him burst in, yelling like a lunatic. I know what you've done. Herman told me everything. Stupid woman. She tried to calm him down, but before she could even get a few words out, he was cutting her throat wide open. I was shocked. I couldn't move. I was frozen by fear, man. Just peeking through the crack in the bathroom door. Anyways, it all happened so fast, and then he cleaned up quickly and left. I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. I haven't really told anyone yet, not even my mom, but I trust you. You know who did it? Yeah, it was definitely Charlie, big creeper from 204. He was wearing gloves, so I don't think they got any prints or anything. Shouldn't you tell the cops? I actually tried to talk to that detective, but he won't listen to me without some kind of evidence. Like my word isn't enough. <laughs> Alright, we're changing the subject. What's up with the guy in 103? That's Mr. Addison. He owns the place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room. Always talks about the little mail slot. Through the little mail slot. He's a nice dude. Just real strange. Oh yeah, if you say Addison T, 
please and thank you to him, he'll give you a cup of his famous tea. I hate this stuff myself, but the adults seem to love it. See ya. I'm just glad that music's over. <coughs> There's a radio here. What's this thing? That's a... It's a police scanner. I can listen in on the local cop chatter. How in the world did you get this thing? That's a story for another day. But hey, you just gave me a great idea. If I make a fake call, maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak into 403. Maybe we can find some kind of evidence to show that detective something they weren't looking for. Pretty quick to sign me up for a break in. Excuse me. I'm quitting pretty quick to sign me up for a break in. Well, I gotta make the call down here, and I'm just messing with you. I'm totally up for this. Been wanting to peek in the room anyways. Sweet. So what's the plan? I'll call in a bank robbery. Hostage situation, and that should clear out the cops for sure. I'm guessing that'll buy us a few minutes until they figure out it wasn't real. You gotta be upstairs when I do that, so we can make those minutes count. We can use my walkie-talkies to communicate during the whole thing. Then I can give you a heads up too, once I know the cops are coming back. Sounds pretty solid to me. Maybe just switch the bank robbery with armed robbery at like a gas station or drugstore? Make it a little more believable. Mm, yeah, I guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here, take this. Head to your room and let me know when you're ready. I'll press that shift button here to call me. I like how they use like the actual key. I like your paintings. Thanks, dude. It's my passion. <laughs> Teenagers. <laughs> <coughs> I love the music too. <coughs> okay, I'm in my room now. Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna make the call. Give me a second. Okay, it's done. I heard a bunch of hustling upstairs, so I think it worked. Go see if you can get out until 403 now. Oh, yeah, this is happening. Oh gosh. Sam. There's a broken coffee table with some books. Look like anything important? Just looks like junk to me. Alright, keep looking then. There's gotta be something else. There's a broken handle. Okay, I don't think that's... Man, this is pretty twisted. Tell me about it. Alright, examine that, examine that. <gasps> the ponies! There's these little figures. Looks like one is missing. I can see a small clearing in the blood. That's it! I know how we can get him. Get out of there and come to the basement. It's one of his dolls. Okay, so one of his dolls got blood on it, and he probably has it with him. Sanderson and Charlie both collected those weird toys. They're nuts over those things. Mrs. Sanderson got his super rare one or something. She was telling me about it the, that day I was fixing her toilet. Anyways, I bet you Charlie couldn't resist taking it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why he off, offed her in the first place. That dude always did give me, give me the creeps. Just something unsettling about him, you know? Wow, this is crazy. This guy definitely needs to get caught. We can't live in a building with a murderer. Exactly. That's why you gotta get into Charlie's room and see if you can find that toy. Wait, why do I have to do it? I snuck into 403. Charlie isn't too fond of me. There's no way he'd let me in. He accused me of stealing snacks from his room. Snacks! Stinking fatty. Alright, alright, I'll do it. Won't be able to sleep at night otherwise. Cool. You're the main, Sally. Here, take this baggie. You can slip the toy in without touching it. Why do I get the feeling you've done this before? <laughs> nah, I just watch too much TV. Alright. <clears throat> I have objects. I do. Alright, I'm gonna see... Some progress may be lost. Works on... Uses an auto saving. All right, um, I do want to finish this episode kind of here. I don't know where the auto save is though. I'm assuming it's kind of like right there. So I'm gonna hope it's not too far away. Hit quit. Exit game. Oh wow, it closes the whole thing. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like and. I almost said it in a thumbs up. That is a like. All right, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I get upload a video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this is kind of like an in-between games kind of game. Uh, I'm planning on doing maybe a Stanley Parable 2 uh, kind of thing. 
uh, Stanley were parable as well, not two. There's no two. Sp there's not two Stanley parable games. Um, the next big game I'm planning on playing is uh, called Enemy Front. It's a World War II game. I was asking a friend like what what game he wanted me to play, and he was like, uh, I gave him choices. I was like, World War II, Sniper, or um, Tomb Raider, and he's like World War Two. Uh, I was kind of, I was pretty sure he was gonna say that he's a war dude. So I'm gonna do Enemy Front next, kind of, but um, I may do some more Sally Face first. Try to finish the first uh, chapter. If you guys do like this, let me know. Um, I did not buy the second through fourth chapters. They're coming out with a fifth soon. Um, if you guys really enjoy this, I will get the next couple chapters. Um, but I need you guys to let me know. Um, I will finish the first chapter for sure but i'm not sure about the uh the chapters after that um i may get them and play them myself if you guys don't want to see them so you know <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching bye